you know, when some people do prolonged fasting, they might end up with various symptoms related to the gallbladder. And that would be right shoulder pain or tightness that can go into the right side of the neck through here. It can even cause jaw issues or even a headache on the right side of the head, uh, nauseousness, uh, bloating, uh, a full feeling underneath the right rib cage or pain or tightness or discomfort underneath the breastbone. And what's happening is the bile is becoming a sludge, okay? It's called biliary sludge or bile sludge because the bile is becoming very, very thick. Because normally when you have the right ratio of bile and cholesterol, uh, everything's fine. But when the bile becomes deficient to a certain degree, the concentration of cholesterol and other things in bile become more concentrated or super concentrated and things start getting thicker and it backs up to the pipes or tubes, bile ducts, and that causes the symptoms that I just mentioned. The person may even find that their cholesterol goes up because one of the purposes of bile is the elimination of cholesterol. And they may even notice on a blood test that they have higher levels of bilirubin or alkaline phosphatase. That is just an indication that there's some type of problem with the gallbladder and it's backing up into the liver. Now, normally this shouldn't happen when someone fasts unless there is a pre-existing problem with bile, like a bile deficiency going into the prolonged fast. Because what happens normally when you eat, the gallbladder contracts and it squeezes out the bile. But if you're not eating, it doesn't contract. And the purpose of the gallbladder is to concentrate the bile. But if there's a deficiency of bile for some reason, which I'll go through those reasons, um, the person can start developing this sludge that kind of backs up through these little ducts. So we should probably get our ducts in a row, another definition of duct. So I'm gonna explain this simple solution, but let's first just mention the things that can cause a bile deficiency. Well, bile is produced by your liver. So if there's any problem with the liver, as in a fatty liver um, or an inflamed liver like hepatitis or a liver that's filled with scar tissue as in cirrhosis, that could be why you have a deficiency in bile. Now, also, if you're on a statin drug, that could be a reason because statins work by blocking the production of cholesterol and bile is made from cholesterol. Uh, if you're on a low cholesterol or a low fat diet, that can create a deficiency in bile. If you're eating a diet that's spiking insulin or have high insulin, that can create a bile deficiency. If you have high cortisol from stress, that can create a problem or high estrogen for some reason, maybe you're on birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy, or you just became pregnant. Have you ever heard about someone being pregnant and then feeling nauseous? Well, that's the reason. Now, it also could be that the person had gastric bypass because that alters the release of bile and that could be the problem. Another problem is that if someone doesn't have enough microbiome, they don't, they don't have enough friendly bacteria. Let's say they just came off an antibiotic and your microbes make bile. So that could be the reason why you're deficient. And one last very interesting reason why someone can be bile deficient. They're on uh, like um, an IV nutrition. It's called parenteral nutrition. Okay, that has to do with um, having an IV put nutrition into your body versus consuming food that goes through your digestive tract. It, it doesn't have anything to do with parenting or being a parent. So what's interesting about uh, parenteral nutrition is that if someone is on this for 13 weeks or longer, um, based on one study, 100% of the patients developed bile or biliary sludge, which by the way, is the precursor to gallstones. I mean, if you think about what's in this nutrition, it's just terrible. 50% uh, of it is dextrose, which is a synthetic sugar, they have soy oil, which is probably the worst omega-6 fatty acid out there. It's highly processed. It probably has hexane, which is a solvent, and has been known to increase liver enzymes, as well as a fatty liver in people taking parenteral nutrition. And then they add amino acids, synthetic vitamins, minerals, some trace minerals. So what is the solution? It's called Tudka. Tudka. It's a type of bile salt that I would highly recommend that you can buy online. 
I'm not going to recommend a brand. You have to find that brand yourself based on maybe some good reviews. But Tutka is a type of bile salt that thins the bile, okay? It will really give you a lot of relief. And you want to take Tutka on an empty stomach. You want to take two. And if it's very severe, maybe you want to take two on an empty stomach twice a day. In addition to that, I would also recommend taking bile salts with a meal. Uh, the one I'm going to recommend is called gallbladder formula. I will put a link down below if you want more information on that. But this Tutka uh, remedy is fascinating. And I created a video on it so you can see all the other things it does. Check it out. I put it right here.